so it's finished I had to do it manually even though there is a spawn line command it uh, it's a little bit strange so uh, I'm gonna teach myself how to use that command a little bit better but uh, yeah the Grand Fleet is pretty much complete we've got 12 battleships and 30 uh, 30 frigates I haven't got any cruiser class ships in the fleet yet, I don't think. Not legitimate cruisers anyway. Uh, there's still a big gaping hole here for the super cap, but that's coming soon. I'm gonna just film this lot first. And obviously the command ship, which is doubling as new ship one. So, I'm gonna show you a little bit of behind the scenes now. Um, this is the first Grand Fleet featuring a couple of my ships that I use in videos for the channel. Um, I saw a picture of, I think it was 1918, uh, the, Gr the Grand Fleet assembled, um, and it was just a naval exercise show of strength, I, you could say. Um, and yeah, they just lined everything up and it went for miles and miles, just battleships and uh, battleships and dreadnoughts. But yeah. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, so like I say, I was just lining all these up and then jumping to them. A uh, funny little story that happened while I was doing this. I spawned them all with active AI <laughs> and then uh, pirates came and oh my god, the uh, amount, literally, they went for these pirates. They got fried within seconds. I mean, they didn't need, the fleet didn't actually move that much. They just sort of all, if you look in the background, that's why they're all facing funny in a funny way, but they're all pointing them at the same way. <laughs> it actually did help a little bit because I didn't have to move them so far. So anyways, to line them up, what I basically did was I put down the front row first and then used uh, the right shift so that I wasn't actually, you know, able to steer. And then I'd level the ships with C so they all point exactly straight in the same direction. And then I'd line them up in a grid, you know, just by using uh, Q, A, W, S, D, E, Quasd. So... And yeah, so like I say, I had no trouble lining up these small ones. The um, the bigger ships were a little bit more tricky. You'd get warped out. Um, it was almost as if they thought the you know, the game thought that things were colliding. But it'll be that's more apparent later. So at the moment, I'm just lining up my frigates. So I had a row of 15 on each side. And then uh, the idea was to put six battleships on each side as well. But um, I had to actually only use five because I couldn't get the uh, the back row. I couldn't get them in. It was almost as if I had to put the battleships in first and then line the frigates up. But yeah, so I just had to jump. And when a jump was out of range, I had to sort of leapfrog from uh, one to the net to the furthest ones away. And yeah, I'm just sort of lining all these up in the grid. And it was actually not, this didn't even take that long. I mean, nobody could enter my sector while I was here. That was one thing that was strange. I mean, one guy managed to get in, but he had to like sit there and take the lag for about 10 minutes. And then it calmed down and allowed him to actually uh, move around. But then because he wasn't in my uh, faction, he couldn't move any ships. <laughs> So I had to go to each ship and put a faction permission block on so that he could uh, get in. And I was thinking it would be nice to have an alliance option to allow alliance members to fly faction ships. Um, but maybe I just didn't, I didn't do that right. Um, of course, I could have just put a faction permission block on the blueprint. That would have also fixed it. <laughs> So we're lining up the Mark III's, and as you can see, they're lining up quite nicely. I mean, when I, when I got it all aligned, it actually worked quite nicely, I thought. Uh, it didn't look too bad. It's pretty cool. It's what I was going for. Um, next time, with the second Grand Fleet, I'll probably use way more ships, but I'll also be spacing them a little bit further apart. Um, ah, this, is this, yeah, there we go. See, did you see that teleport? It's like, I'm like, whoa, what, huh? <laughs> I'm trying to get over there. And uh, as soon as I get close, it 
could just be like, bonk, and pop me out. But I think, oh no, I think I made it that time. Yeah, nice. So now I can go on to the next one. Uh, looks like I'm doing another frigate. Got really used to moving around in the... Uh... Oh, here we go, look. <laughs> it, it was teleporting me something fierce at one point. Um, you know, the last couple of ships were the hardest to place. So, there we go. But yeah, it wasn't actually that difficult. Um, and I think I probably could have made my life easier if I'd used the line command properly. Because when I used the line command, I wasn't looking at anything. So it just sort of spat them out anywhere around me. But I figured out you've got to actually look at something. So you might be able to use that to line up a grid in a much, you know, much, much quicker. I saved the export as well for the sector. So, uh... That's always fun. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So I haven't got many ships left to do now. I think the the last battleship was the hardest one to get in because it just kept popping out. Um, and you know it's my own fault for packing them in so close. But really, I I just had I saw a picture and I was like, oh, I want to rec recreate this picture in Starmade. And um, I think it took me about about an hour and a half, probably, to actually spawn all these, line them up, shoot the video afterwards. Probably an hour and a half. And I figured, um, once I've started, I'm not stopping, because I knew that if I left this sector, chances are if I came back, um, it might try to load them all again fresh which probably wouldn't work out very well. So I just literally was in it for, did it all in one run. There we go. There's not much left to do now, is there? Couple of frigates, couple more battleships. Align the uh, carrier, or the command ship. It's not really a carrier. There we go. And then drop in the hailstorm. And yeah, I just wanted to sort of align the ships that I use in the videos into a sort of fleet formation. Oh, here we go. Wait for it to pop. I think I edited out a lot of it, actually, to be honest. Oh, whoa! <laughs> you just see it popping up, pop. The game's like, no, denied. <laughs> Looks like I got it. I'm like, quick, get out, quick, before it pops again. <laughs> Oh yeah, nice. So I've got them all in place now. I'm lining up my stealth fighters. Or my stealth ships, rather. <laughs> stealth boards. And then I think I lined up a couple of surfboards as well next to the runway. Okay, so every time I get close, the game wants to take a slap the, you in the, the face. The game slaps me in the face. Um, just to show you what's going on here, it's can't really decide where the hailstorm's supposed to be. I don't know if the boxes are bigger on the collision mesh than the actual ship is, and then if that was the. Hey, do you think that the max box length is the same as the width? So, like, if my ship was 400 long, then it has a 400 wide invisible box I can't see that determines whether it's colliding. I need to work it out. I need to find out, because there's no way I'm going to position stuff like this properly if there's invisible boxes I don't know about. Because hail storm.
so thanks for checking out the Grand Fleet behind the scenes video um, I tried to make it as short as I could but it still ran over 12 minutes so uh, if you watch this far cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one